Okay, this is actually pretty spicy. Hey guys and welcome to Life with Mare. In today's video, I am trying some Jamaican Caribbean style breakfast. Never had it before. We were supposed to go to Jamaica for our wedding, but with COVID, it didn't work out. But guys, I am ready to try some Jamaican food. I've heard that Jamaican food is absolutely amazing. So I ran into this place here in Scarborough in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. And I said, you know what? I need to stop by here. I need to check this out and see how it is. It's called Spice is Right. So if I end up loving this, guys, you guys definitely go check it out. Enter it into your map, into your Google Maps and go try it. So let's open it up right now for the first time and see what it's like. Oh. Okay, so this is what it looks like guys. Although I have never had their breakfast before, I have had this. So this green vegetable is called callaloo. So it's kind of like a spinach that they make. This here on top is vegetables. And underneath, she actually added dumpling. So the, I'll just show you guys uh, what the dumpling looks like. The container is a little bit small, which was a little bit bigger. This is the dumpling right here. So this is dumpling. And I believe there's some banana, so green banana pieces as well right here. Okay, I'm going to dig right in. I'm starving. It's the early morning. You guys can probably hear it in my voice. And try this out. So I'm going to try the banana first. Very soft. Doesn't taste like banana. Has a nice smooth texture though. I like the texture of it. I'm gonna grab another piece. Doesn't have too much flavor. I'm thinking you might have to mix the banana in with maybe the callaloo. Kind of serves as maybe like a starch or a carb. Mm hmm. I do like the texture. It's really soft, and it doesn't take taste like a plantain. It's a little bit more plain. Here's the vegetables right here. So I think they call them provisions. So provisions are sort of like the side dishes. So it looks like there's some pepper, some cabbage, salt and pepper. Mmm. Decent. I like that. I don't normally eat vegetables in the morning. But this tastes good. Let me try the callaloo. So I do like callaloo. This is the green spinach type vegetable here. Mmm. That is flavorful. Definitely has some salt. And there's some spice. There is a kick in this. Ooh, there's big chunks of garlic big big chunks of garlic oh she asked if i want a pepper sauce thank goodness i said no this is actually pretty spicy mm. if you guys know if callaloo is supposed to be spicy let me know because wow it's got a kick but i like it oh i never eat spicy food in the morning guys my breakfast usually consists of like eggs peanut butter sandwich hash browns pancakes pretty much like northwestern breakfast food you know so this is definitely something different i like the callaloo mm. And I'm getting some veggies in in the morning before lunch. That's amazing. Mm. All right, let's try the dumpling out now. So the dumpling kind of looked like a circular shape, but she cut it into what looks like four pieces. So here's two right now. I'm going to try this. Whoa, very dense. Mmm. Mm, chewy. <laughs> dense and chewy, but really good you see that it's really thick and dense wow but not dry by any means very flavorful i'm thinking mm. mixing it with the callaloo so good so the dumpling and the banana is serving as its starch as the carb to go along with the vegetables so this is really good. And there's got to be some sort of protein in here as well. I'm sure the banana and the vegetable has protein. There's actually protein found in a lot of vegetables. So don't think that you always have to have meat or beans or eggs necessarily for protein because there are pro there is protein in a lot of foods, especially vegetables that we are even unaware of. Wow, this tastes amazing. So I'm really liking the dumpling. I think the dumpling and the callaloo combination tastes really, really good. I'm going to have a piece of banana now with the callaloo and see if that 
mix as well. Mm -hmm. So that tastes really good. It kind of takes that form of like a starch, like a potato or like your rice or your pasta. But I think I really like the dumpling, how the dumpling tastes with the Kalaloo. It's a really nice combination flavor. Wow. Guys, this is amazing. It does look like a small portion, but I'm hoping that it'll be enough for breakfast. I don't usually eat big breakfast anyway, so I think this is a good portion. The price was $8.99 plus tax, so it was about $10, $12. Um, not bad, pretty decent. I have seen breakfast a lot more than that, but the portion sizes are a bit bigger. Breakfast is becoming very expensive nowadays, especially since the inflation and everything that's been going on in the economy. But this is good, this is decent. This goes really nice with my Tim Hortons coffee. Gonna eat this and go about my day and enjoy. And guys, I am looking forward to actually trying some other cultural food. I love different cultural food. Go check out some of my videos under foodie playlist. I've tried out Hakka food, I've tried out Chinese food, Filipino food. Um, Mexican food. I've tried out many different cultural food and I'm really excited to do so. If there's any other cultural food guys that you can think of that I can try, definitely let me know in the comments below and I will go ahead and try it. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video coming along with me to try this Jamaican food. It is so good. I'm definitely going to consume this because I love it. I love that spice too. It's like lingering on my tongue. I love it. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a thumbs up before you leave. Hit that subscribe button guys to see more videos and I hope to see you in another video. Take care guys.